good afternoon students we'll start now the mini project uh, presentation i'll share the screen lokesh lokesh varan you can start your presentation yes ma'am Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today I am going to solve, uh, give explanation of a small problem in Java, which is a minute project. Um, Sita was shocked after seeing her electricity bill uh, for May month. She approached the TNAB office and asked for more details. TNAB officers explained the tariff rate and asked her to calculate and check. She was not able to calculate and asked her friend to help. Her friend said it will be calculated based on the maximum unit. Help Sita and her friend to calculate the maximum so she sita uh, is shocked after seeing the may month electricity bill so she approached the tnb office and tnb office so she don't know how to calculate that so she asked her help friend to help that yes ma'am next slide now next slide now this this program can be basically solved using some uh, decision making statements the Electricity bills tariff rates are divided into four tariffs. For the first 100 units, there is no rate, no amount they have to pay. So first we are getting the input from the user, how many units consumed. If the unit is less than or equal to 100 units, the rate will be next slide. Else if the rate, if the units are less than 200, but it is greater than 100. So if for every tariff, every slab, the, for first 100 units, it is zero rupees. So we no need to calculate for that, see, because the result is always zero. Here is a rate for 200, for the maximum, it's based, calculated based on the maximum number of units consumed by the user. So if the maximum number of units is 200, so if, she, if the unit is less than or equal to 200, the rate will be calculated. Here is the formula rate is equal to number of units consumed minus 100 into 1.5. This is to avoid the first 100 units rate. Next one. I enter the number of in, uh, units 500. Your electricity bill amount is 1,100 rupees. Yeah, that's all. Next, Femija is here. Sri J. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, really? but my code is uh, really long. What, ma'am? Let's okay. do it, ma'am. Shall I uh, prashar your PPT? Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. You be ready. Unmute your voice. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Can I go up with Oh, yeah. 
So, hello guys. Uh, wishing you all a very good afternoon. Uh, we guys have created a small, uh, simple Java project which calculates interest. It's an interest calculator. Um, can you move to the next slide, Manu? So, this uh, interest calculator, what it does is that it calculates interest based on the type of account and the status of the account holder. If the rates of the interest changes according to the amount, whether it's uh, less than one crore or greater than one crore, and the age of the account holder, general or senior citizen. And we also factor in the number of days if the type of account is a uh, fixed deposit or uh, RD. So uh, in the uh, below, we can see that uh, for the four requirements for the project and we have implemented in the source code. We'll see to that in the upcoming slides. Um, next slide, ma'am. Hello? Um, can you hear me? Uh, I'm still in the same slide, ma'am. Hello? No, it's changing, Ada. No, ma'am. Uh, it's still stuck on the same slide, ma'am. Which slide it is stuck? Second slide, ma'am. Uh... Now? Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. So in this slide, uh, we can see that there are four different tables for the different types of interest rates. The first table uh, describes the interest rate for fixed deposit for citizens with the amount less than one crore. The second table shows for uh, amount more than one crore and the third table factors in the RD interest. So on the last table, it's an interesting one. So it's, it factors for SB account interest rates. For normal one, it's 4% and NRI one is 6%. So let's dive into the source code. Uh, it's a really long and uh, boring source one. So I'll make it, I'll try to make it short and crispy. So the first, uh, first thing we are doing is that we are creating an abstract class named account where we initialize two variables, amount and age. And using the constructor method, we get this uh, amount and age values. And uh, we also create an abstract method, calculate interest, which we will be implementing in the following classes. The second uh, class, it's an uh, it's for a fixed deposit account, which uh, which is uh, extending account uh, that is inheriting the parent class account. In this uh, class, we are in uh, we are initializing uh, two variables, maturity period and uh, and another boolean variable named whether it's uh, above one crore or below one crore. And we get this corresponding values using the constructor method and super method. So on the next side, we can see that uh, we are we are uh, initialized two methods, uh, calculate interest and uh, another private method, get interest rate for below one crore. The calculate interest method, uh, it automatically uh, generates and calculates the interest and returns the interest value. And the get interest rate for below one crore, it uses a series of uh, if else uh, clauses and uh, factors in the uh, maturity period and age and calculates the uh, interest rates. Um, next slide, ma'am. And uh, here we have initialized another method for uh, getting interest rate above one crore. And uh, here also we use maturity period uh, and uh, we uh, we factor in the interest rates. Here we also use uh, throw methods to determine whether the maturity period is uh, valid or invalid. So the third class is that uh, we are for doing it for RD account. It also inherits from the account. Hello, ma'am. So in this RD account, uh, we are initializing another, mama, before slide, ma'am. Yeah. So in this RD account class, we are initializing another uh, variable named maturity period. Uh, and using the constructor method and super method, we get the corresponding values for amount, age, maturity period, etc. Here, uh, here we are using the abstract class method, calculate interest and calculate the interest rate based on the if condition parameters. Here we have uh, defined another uh, method, get interest rate for general, which calculates the interest rate for general citizens. And uh, the next method we have created is for uh, calculating interest rate for senior citizens. It calculates the uh, interest rate for senior citizens based on the maturity period. Next slide. Now. So yeah. And uh, the 
final class is that we are created for savings bank account and here we use only one uh, variable that's a boolean variable for determining whether it's an nra account or a general account here also we get the values for amount age and uh, whether it's nra or not using the constructor method and uh, we also define the abstract class method calculate interest to calculate the interest whether if it's an nra account it returns uh, six percentage interest or whether it's a uh, general account it returns four percent interest so when we go into the main class we can see that we have created three objects for each one for fd account rd account and uh, savings bank account and we calculate the corresponding interest and uh, display the interest rates ma'am next slide ma'am in the output uh, terminal we can see that the recurring deposit interest and the saving bank account interest Fixed deposit interest is uh, shown on top. Thank you, ma'am. Good, ma'am. Pramija? Pramija is here. Sandeep, what about Sandeep is here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall we start? Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Start now. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, the problem which we are going to see, uh, the much awaited event entertainment industry every year is the screen awards. This year, the event is going to be organized on December 25th to honor the artists for the professional excellence in cinema. The organizers as this time decided to launch an online portal to facilitate easy booking for the award shows tickets. They they specifically wanted to provide an opinion for bulk booking in the portal, wherein there are many discounts announced. Um, next slide. So this can be done basically using the IFLS conditions. Uh, the condition that they are given is uh, if the number of tickets is greater than 50 and uh, it is less than 100, they are giving 10% discount. So if the number of tickets is greater than 101 and less than 200, they are giving 20% discount. Like this, up to greater than 500 tickets if they book, they are giving a 5% discount for the tickets. Um, next slide. So the discount price uh, is calculated basically using the total cost into the discount minus total cost. So the discount price will be calculated using that output. The number of ticket entered here is 704 and the number of tickets uh, is uh, 201. So the discounted price is 99,052. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Good. Preeti? Is yes, Preeti here? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Ah, sure. Ready, Amma? Shall we start? Ah, yes, ma'am. Pretty, so you can actually start. my topic ah, yes. so actually my topic is online shopping portal 
Ma'am, next slide. Question slide. Actually, the question is to create an online shopping portal, which has two types of membership, basic and premium. And these are the criteria to be undertaken and conditions to be followed. Next slide. Coming to the source code for the above question, we are declared customer class. And there are some declarations like name, city, gender, total bill amount. And we have used customer as constructor the same as a class name and we have used this pointer for the sake of the current class and a calculate discount method is created which returns zero and get name method is created which returns name likewise uh, it follows up to the get total bill amount method and it returns the total bill amount and another subclass is created named as basic customer which extends the customer class and the same as the previous class, a customer, basic customer constructed is created by using super keyword, which we can able to access the previous data in the parent class. An override function is takes place here. Calculate discount method is used. Ma'am. Calculate discount method is from previous slide. And calculate discount method is used and if else conditions are here for the proper execution of the program. The next slide. And as same as the previous subclass, we have used the calculate amount discount. We have used the premier customer. Ma'am is somewhat blurry in my screen. Ma'am? Okay, uh, premier customer is another subclass which extends the customer class and it has the separate private variable subscription fee and it also has the uh, instructor name as name, city, gender, total bill amount and extra as a subscription fee. And then an override is taken, calculate discount method is taken so in that method, there is an if else ladder. So for the defining the, so the process goes on. And after that, we have used the get subscription fee, which returns the subscription fee. And coming to the main class, the class named online shopping portal, uh, we have created basic customer and premier customer as an object for the previous classes and we have used system.out.println for the execution of the program. Now next slide. Now next slide. And this is a sample output for the above given program like customer name, customer city, gender, total bill account, amount and discount amount. That's it. Thank you. Pramija is there in the meet. Baudarni. Okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you, everyone, for presenting your. Uh, mini project.